Mm-hmm. And uh, I should say the Mac OS Big Sur, iOS 14, iPad OS 14, uh, TV OS 7, Watch OS, I think it's 7 or 14. Yeah, new AirPod update as well. AirPod update. They're yeah. get, right now, they're, they're seeding this out to developers. So if you are a developer, I'm sure you already have it. Then the public beta begins in July for the new OSs. And then the fall is when they release it. And then we will have, I'm sure, a refresh of the iPads, iPhones, all the other gear tech. And then the Mac OS refresh with the first Apple Silicon chips will be more towards the end of this year. That's going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to that. Just to seeing what, as we go to Big Sur 11, what new app soft slash software, how they take advantage of it. And your Intels will still run for two years and for a while while they do the transition. I'm pretty excited about this. What was your yeah, what was your overall thought? It, because this month, especially a lot of events that are live, we usually have E3, um, Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo. Nintendo kind of started the way with the Nintendo Directs. Uh, we're it's having, right. yeah, we're still having. Uh, the um, San Diego Comic Con events are going virtual. Yes. And this is the way that it's going to be virtual. So I think Apple nailed it just on the presentation, the excitement they had, having different uh, scenes for the different announcements from the people. It it was one of the best ones that I felt. It was felt like cinematic to me. A lot of information, yeah. but it was entertaining to watch. Uh, on every level, to me, this will be one of the WWDCs that I will remember fondly. I haven't been this excited um, since they did the original rework on the I- iPhones when they made everything like, whoa. But yes. to me, on every level, like the production value of the actual stream itself, the actual announcements was one of the best. W- I mean, they like I said, this was huge announcements that they had. The widgets. For better or worse, you don't have to use them. If you're like, oh, I don't want this. This makes my, you know, iPhone feel more like towards Android. Like all these, don't use them. Just have your icons on there. For some of us, like me, I want to use them. I can't wait to, you know. But not only the iOS, the iPad, the Apple Pencil is more useful than ever before. Like that was huge for the Apple Pencil. Having Scribble on Mm -hmm. there because, you know, we're such in a digital world. We're now even going more digitally now thanks to this virus the streamline to the fact that you know the the written word is becoming more less and less used and for people like me who's so in a digital world it's like wow writing out do i you know it's like <laughs> it's, it's one of those things i have to like think about even though i grew up writing you know it's mm-hmm. just one of those things like okay let me remember how to do cursey up here but now with this new update for the pencil the pencil is just like you never have to put it down you know and if the airpods they now will automatically change whatever device you have like this is something that i have been tom you know i've been asking for this since day one <laughs> like, seriously, I'm like, i love the fact that it's connected but i still yes. gotta like manually check no more you know like it's just it was little things like that that made this so much more of a impactful WWDC with the announcements that they made, with the presentation, with all the information that was available, the the hundreds Mm -hmm. of sessions and so on. Apple, you knocked it out of the park this time, like really out of the park. We've got a comment from one of our viewers. Alicia Faye just said that she just bought an iPad and she's in love with it. Alicia, what are some of the things that you love about your iPad and where do you, why did you get one? And it, it obviously, did it exceed your expectations? And what are you looking forward to using your iPad for? Uh, I like hearing people like, oh, I got it because I didn't realize I could do this and that. But, oh, wow, you can do that? <laughs> yes, All and a lot time. more. <laughs> <laughs> you know, gaming, picture taking, internet mm-hmm. browser, YouTube, watching our videos. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, drawing, creating, well, a- anything. Yeah. Uh, This is everyone to me, and I've always said this, everyone can create, everyone has a creativity, everyone has a story to tell, whether it's drawing, whether it's artistic, whether it's video, music, photography, 
written word, traditional. Everyone has a story to tell. And right now we're telling stories with the technology that we're using with our setups. It, it just is a lot of fun for us. Um, the graphics and I love the pictures. That's what she put. The graphics and I love the pictures. Uh, hopefully, I would recommend if she got a Apple iPad, get a Apple Pencil and try out. Oh, it's been a while and I cannot remember. Um, no, no. What? I, I feel embarrassed that I even... Um, what, my drawing app that I love so much. I love it so much that I can't even think what it is. You like your name. What's that? Procreate. 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 Give that a try. Procreate is a lot of fun. Yeah, Sketches School is a free download. I'm also looking at some of the other stuff that you can play with. GarageBand, iMovie, all this fun stuff that you can do. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is true yeah. too. You got yeah. do uh, not let anyone in there. That's good because you can maybe as you're typing, you can write in your notes, you can yep. draw, like you said, the sketching. It's a lot of fun. Um one thing about it, it's like you said, the iPad is one of them one of the most versatile devices that I think Apple has besides the Mac mini on there. It's like, oh, you want a tablet? Cool. You throw a keyboard and mouse on it, and now you have more of a laptop feel, especially with the Magic Keyboard and the iPad Pro. Like, it's crazy. But you could go ahead and use it with a pencil, and now you have one of the best note-taking, best drawing, best overall notation type of device whether for any type of, you mm -hmm. know, just, I mean, then you could plug it in uh, external desk, uh, external uh, monitor, and you have your Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, and now you basically have a desktop. Like it's, you could take the um, Apple TV and plug it with it. And now you have a video game console or yeah. a portable. It's just amazing how many different devices the iPad can be. Video game device. Yeah, an it's all-in-one. Uh, an event that was fun this week. I want to go. I'm going to give you the floor for something that was not very fun. And we talked about this when we we were talking about the Apple WWDC before, like the night before. And then this happened. I'm going to give you the floor. I'm going to. Um, is this what I think it is? Yes, it is. So, Pokemon, uh, Pokemon no, 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 not Pokemon. The event that happened to you personally. Oh yes, okay. yes, yes. Oh yes. I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna take myself off of the stream for a minute, let you talk, um, throw up a couple pictures. Like you said, this is your time, so go for it. Um I recent I over the over years and years, um, I don't know if you probably have picked up on this, but I have definitely been doing um a weight loss program. Um I tried losing weight. Because of the fact, well, not only for health reasons though, but um, also because I became diabetic, and um, another reason why also is to get more healthier. But one of the challenges that my um, mom had was the fact that if I went ahead and lost enough weight to a certain point, um, she would go ahead and help me get a moped scooter. And I have been wanting a moped scooter since literally when I was younger, like like a kid. Um, so this has always been one of my definite goals. And I, I reached it. I've lost about 100, 140 pounds. And I reached the pound limit for, for this moped scooter. And my mom went ahead and sure enough, got it. And as you know, my favorite colors are definitely blue and black. And the ears, the shirt, the nickname, you know I love wolves. And sure enough, I found a blue and black moped scooter that had wolf on it. Proudest moment of my life. It's like my entire practical life goal was there after working so incredibly hard for years and years and years and years. And unfortunately, um, even though it was parked in my backyard and, you know, locked up, someone came to my backyard within a week of purchasing it and decided to take it. Um, so right now I've been asking everybody to keep their eyes out for it. It's 
been seen multiple times riding around here in Battle Creek. It is a blue and black Wolf RX50 moped scooter 50cc. Please keep your eyes out for it. If you see it, hit me up on Facebook, Jeremy Holder. You guys know my uh, tag on here. Um, message me and definitely call the police. They're out looking for it as well. This happened Tuesday night. And I am very, very um, happy with the response that I've been getting. I shared it on Facebook thinking a few family and friends is going to share it. Instead, it seems like half of Battle Creek is. I'm getting over, I'm, get, I'm getting close to or over 3,000 shares on this uh, uh, post and many people have been looking out for it. I've been getting some messages. Hey, I saw it go down Dickman or I saw it go down Columbia and so on. So we're getting more and more narrowed down for it. And for anybody out there keeping eyes for it, if anybody go to my web, uh, my Facebook profile and share it as well with their friends and family, I will 100% greatly appreciate it. Greatly appreciate it because this has been, it's more than a moped scooter to me. It's, it was like, I've been running this race for so long and I finally achieved this goal. This something that I've been really going, really looking forward to. It's from my mom. Um, and I don't, and she has been battling breast cancer for years now. So she's been dealing with that and she's been helping me with my weight loss as well. You know, helping me push forward it is not easy losing weight. I'll tell you that right now. It is not. <laughs> um, some people, <laughs> some people can drop it, but for some people, it's not. And I finally got it. I was so happy. So, for like I said, this is sentimental as well. Um, so I'm really hoping people keep their eyes out for it. And you know, if you see it, please let me know, um, and I'll really appreciate it. So yeah, yeah that's whew. just talking. Been talking with you when that happened, we went from just 12 hours from, oh, this is awesome, the WWDC to literally yeah. broken heart. So I'm hoping that there the community has really gotten together. I've shared it. Uh, people that I know shared it, and you've had a lot of response. Hopefully you get your J-Wolf uh, moped back because it is more than uh, it's an item. It's just like it, what, it, what it meant to you yeah. and the journey you get there. Yeah, speaking of journeys, we're not done this whole summer as we've learned in live stream. The journey, whether it's Apple, whether it's video games, whether it's movies, is even though this is something new, we're going to keep on talking about pop culture and come on once a week, whether this is a, a long form with the Apple WWDC or maybe in the next few days we get all our notes together and talk about Pokemon or who knows when there's a stealth drop. There's just there is still a lot to cover, and it's nice that we're taking advantage of n new ways to communicate with people, which I think is really cool. I love this. I actually love this setup. Like, mm -hmm. like this is very unique, different. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love. I definitely miss coming into the studio. I was getting together, um, but this is definitely unique and it's different. You know, and it's much more of a, I guess a futuristic way you know this feels more of a good side of 2020 yes yes uh let me ask you this is there um is there anything any closing thoughts that you've had about Definitely. this whole this whole apple wwdc and what what you're looking forward to in the next few months and thanks uh alicia aisha yeah, Alicia, I'm sorry for sharing. Uh, I know Jeremy greatly appreciates it. Um, man, it's, it's hard to actually pin down what one thing I'm looking forward to because there's so much. But I would say that almost every category, like for iOS 14, I am heavily looking forward for those widgets. I am definitely looking forward to those widgets. For iPadOS, I would, I, I mean, I'm, I'm that pencil update, that pencil update is huge for me because I love using my pencil. I don't want to set it down, you know, um, for the Apple TV update. One of the things that also updated across the board was HomeKit. They now are going to go ahead and have facial recognition built into 
the camera system. I'm actually looking forward to that as well because one of the things they showed was where you were watching TV on your Apple TV and then it pops up with like, like let's say for example, if I went over to my mom's house, it'd be like Jeremy Holder's at the door. And then you could like unlock the door or, you know, open two way and so on. So Apple TV getting that update, AirPods getting the automatic switch and the huge Big Sur update, which one thing very few people talk, very few people was talking about the control center for Mac. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing and so beautifully executed. I can't wait to do that. That way I could go ahead and you know not only um, switch settings very quickly and fast and easily and beautifully, but also the way you could pin settings and everything much more customizable. You know, now I actually love this unified feel. I feel like Apple has the best ecosystem and this is them saying by the way our ecosystem is only getting better across the board no matter how you look at it oh yes it's definitely it's a lot of fun um i enjoy i enjoy following this join behind the scenes looking forward to not want to skip too far ahead but I, I can't wait to see the public betas of all this yes, yes. I, I i haven't really been i know this is going to be a shocker but I haven't really been downloading public betas because, you know, I use my devices as the main device, each and every one of them so much. But I don't know if I'll be able to wait all the way till fall. I might have to take that chance and download those public betas this time because this are you what? huge updates. Like these are updates that, you know, I am 100 percent gun ho looking forward to, you know, that app library, the 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 smaller calls like the actual compact calls, you know, it's just the little things. It's just like, they just hit us with so much stuff. It was just like one of their two hours of amazing WWDC. Like mm -hmm. that's all I can say about that. You know, and I'm like, there's so many features. I might have to download a public beta and take that chance. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for everyone for joining in and our, our fun long due discussion of the Apple WWDC 20. And I just hope that if you have any comments, any suggestions on what you want to hear us talk about, please give us a comment in the uh, messages and Facebook. This will also go up to YouTube here shortly with some uh, trimming, some adding things to it. What do you want to hear? Maybe we'll do a live play. Maybe we'll do something. But we have a lot of fun just talking about pop culture. If you have any questions about your tech and gear, you know, address it to Jay Wolf. He'll, he's always happy to talk about it. And as you see, Jay's got his mic and he's got some lights on it until everything comes out. it's uh, It's been a lot of fun this episode. Yeah, yeah. Also, one more thing about mm -hmm. WDC that was missing. Mm -hmm. I didn't see a real interesting intro video remember how they showed the developers staying up at night developing and stuff like that and you know just what it was like getting to the developer conference mm -hmm. they didn't have though that intro video i missed it mm -hmm. like, you know and i was just like i mean you know they had the whole world thing but at the same time i really missed the whole you know mm -hmm. that cool unique apple video well they said that they were not going to give their competition and it was it was a funny little quirk that they said about it. We're not going to give our competition um, any reason to something or other. So they went right to it. Uh, oh, so I. Uh, Interesting. Yeah. So, so thanks everyone for watching. Thank you, Alicia, for the comments. And until next time, uh, I'm Tom Morris, and this is the Jay Wolf. Here and classic gloves too. Yes, always got the gloves. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. See ya.